Lance or saw something. Satisfaction. If you killed him, how come he killed a bunch of us just yesterday? Because he's a ghost. You kill him and he just comes back. You'll see. He'll be back for us all. Enough searching. The Oryx dead. So what? Your eyes open for that grave walker scum. It's gonna forge me a bigger blade!
you're not put off by my wee scars. Oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Krabain to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? And so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. Got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Step two, Captain. The blood will attract Caragors. Jump on one before she jumps on you. Your speed will now match the ground. If it is you, I'll be waiting. That will be quite a ride. Speed. Well, you, Captain, shoot him in the head. Sounds easy enough. Right, our cabin. This grog to Torven. Hear you? I've slain bigger grogs when I was a wee boy and my beard was only three inches long. Step three, shoot it in the head. Over here! Look over here! Nothing like a dwarf for dessert. We're a sweet little morsel. Before I drop you with my hammer!
What's step four? There is no step four! It should be dead! You must have done it wrong! I'm following your orders! Well, that's your problem! Think for yourself! I have an idea! What are you doing? You can't find the ground! of my blade. of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> 